I watched. You oh, well, that, that and you Terry about that. his yeah. comprehensive you exam that he did wonderfully. Well, I don't know how much science this is. He is, he's a model. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Come on now. But, yeah. <laughs> what, what about a more portrait pieces? Like, Emily, if if you were uh, ice cream. If I was ice cream? What's a, yeah, well, <laughs> what's a, what's a one from the world? What animal would you be? Oh, yeah. Remember from our, like, our, what, what animal best describes you? Oh, I am, I think I'm supposed to be a bird. People have told me this. Right? You're like a bird? <laughs> Do you want to fly away? Maybe, but <laughs> I don't know. This is just the one that I always get. What sort of bird, though? There's lots of different birds. Your, char your characteristics, not necessarily what you look like. Oh, yeah. Characteristics. Oh, I like to be a guinea pig. <laughs> what does that say about you? You like to sniff around a lot and oh, <laughs> pee on just, and shredded wood pieces. They're just, they're just happy little animals, you know, and then they get scared. But it's oh, I saw cute. the pictures yeah. of Mr. Carrotface. Yeah. Mr. Fuzzy Carrotface and Mita. Yeah, I've become acquainted with Mita and Mr. Fuzzy Carrotface, and I realized we have a lot in common. Like what? <laughs> well, they get afraid of loud noises, but then if you give them food, they forget about their fear and they just go on with their life. <laughs> And what about, what about Terry? If Terry was an animal, what animal would he oh, be? Oh, well, we had this discussion when Terry and I first met, and Terry was very angry about this, because yes, first no, I said uh, he would be a bear, and then I said he would be a Care Bear, and then other people came in and said that Terry is definitely an elf. And then Terry an elf. yelled at everyone that elves are not animals, <laughs> Yeah. he can't be an elf. I was just going to make that same objection. <laughs> but if Terry were a fruit or vegetable, he would be a pumpkin. A pumpkin. And I'm a beet. <laughs> Why are you a beet? I am apparently beet shaped, right? <laughs> it's about your head. It's about our head. Well, you called me a pumpkin head, so I called you a beet head. And you're in that famous uh, children awareness ad, you know? Like a muffin or a beet. You don't know what I'm talking no. about, do you? I have no clue. Either. Don't you put it in your mouth. You guys have to know what I'm talking about. Yeah, but there's no beet. Oh, it's like. They're talking about a beet? I don't know. Oh, so they say, like a muffin or a beet. My body's nobody's body but mine. You touch your own body. Let me touch mine. <laughs> Do you often sing that to Emily? Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes when I get grabby. <laughs> but wait, you never really answered the question. What question? We got into like elf and then. I'm a guinea pig. Yeah, but what is he? Oh, bear. he's a bear. But why is he a bear? Oh. He would forage for things, but he can also be dangerous. And he's got like little bear ears and like a little bear face. <laughs> he's like a little baby bear. Yeah, he's a baby bear. He's not a full bear. He could still mess with you if you piss him off. Yeah, yeah. Well, or else like someone will come in and yeah, sit me on his back. <laughs> Is that the last question? No. What happens if you guys were in ice cream together? <laughs> oh, okay, we should be peanut butter chocolate. This is one of my favorite ice creams anyways, and it's like Which a mash of two things. Yeah. I'm... Well, you're chocolate because you want to be black. <laughs> Jamal? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm peanut butter, and he's chocolate. Yep. Sorry, I such a good combination. Aww. <laughs> How do you feel about being here on such a cold, miserable morning? I guess it's not that miserable. Well, it's pretty nice actually. It's pretty yesterday. I was really excited to come because I heard that sometimes dead people collect in the water here. Yep. And I have never <laughs> seen a drowning person before. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. And has it lived up to your expectations yet? No, I haven't seen any dead people. Uh, I, think, I think the guy was here earlier. They usually come around 8.30 to clean them all up. Really? Yeah. Well, they come earlier. <laughs> yeah. But there's usually not too many deaths on the Sunday. Everyone's chilled a bit. And the ones from Saturday night, they, they're usually upstream and they take until like Monday morning to float down. Oh, yeah? You take a Why are like the bars up there? Is that how it works? Yeah. Yeah? You should go take a boat after this. <laughs> oh, that's true, yeah. They sometimes get stuck around that rut by the Museum of Civilization. Well, everywhere. Yeah. I wonder if that's anybody's boat. Okay. One was just been sitting there. Oh yeah. I think they're pretty much done for the morning, so just have to air yours.
So I wanted to get some beautiful on water footage, but they wouldn't let me. Said we're done, losers. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna work on the blades tomorrow. Yeah. When did you get it? I just got it like three weeks ago, so it's still brand new. I'm still learning how to use it. But what are you doing for the like? You're just doing like a documentary thing of the rowing club. Uh, kind of, but not like just sort of silent and like just pictures, I guess. Nice. An artsy type of thing. Um, so are you still, is your course still going? It, it ends in two weeks. Oh, okay. So is this, like, do you have a final project or something? Yeah, this is like the final oh, project. I see. Last minute, cool. but. That's okay. <laughs> How's Montreal going? Oh, that's really good. Yeah. Yeah? Nice. Yeah. My work is going good now, comparatively. I feel what you're doing. You're in... Breast cancer research. Right. Yeah. And this is your master's. Well, it'll be my PhD. So you can turn it into your PhD. But right, for as now, it's not. As yeah, as of now, I'm a master. Well, do we have time to give up? Okay. We'll just say go around. It's pretty common. Okay. Okay. Are you going to come? You guys are leaving? We're going to take a boat. All right. Well, I, I better keep filming for my <laughs> documentary piece. <laughs> We'll return. Watch out for the do, bodies. We can do a closing interview and we'll tell you about any findings. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah. All right. This is our quest for death. Good luck. <laughs> Don't get scared. Uh, well, what happens if you guys die? This could be like a big news piece. I could tell this to CNN or something. Oh, you totally could. <laughs> do you need us to sign anything? Uh, you guys will be dead, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let me just just sit here for a second. I'm gonna look. Are you scared? No, no, I'm excited. You excited for the dead bodies? I I've really never feared death. It's okay. Never. Public speaking? Oh yeah. <laughs> you know, I never said all about dead bodies. I don't they could be all like gooey and green. Well, at work I kill animals all the time. You kill animals? Uh, yeah, to collect their really? and things. Uh, but not guinea pigs. <laughs> not guinea pigs. Not Mr. Carrot Face. No. <laughs> yeah, I liked your Facebook comment. <laughs> I decided that was the best one. Is Terry, uh, is he... How would you describe him with three adjectives? Three yeah, in case he goes missing. Oh no, he's coming. Uh oh, oh it's okay. too late. Yeah, I'm gonna I help us push you. that boat up. Okay. <laughs> Next. This will be called the making of the dead body search. <laughs> she says she's not scared of, of bodies, dead bodies. She's pretty good with stuff. I'm terrified of vomit though. As long as the dead body Same with Terry. He has a thing about vomiting. Yeah, he is not afraid of it though. <laughs> that would be. I have a passion for him. <laughs> okay, what do I do? Good thing I helped. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh, I don't want to fall in. Oh, he's so chivalrous. Oh, it's so it's so beautiful. We need walkie-talkies in case you do find anything. Yeah. Well, there's this like thing for talking into whatever you call that. Ma yeah, but I don't have one. We need like two-way like receiver. <laughs> So chivalrous. I know. <laughs> Plus, if they're done, they'll phone me. If you see them, just tell them to phone me. <laughs> this is funny. I don't know if I've ever met Jesse, but I assume he just looks like you. He's oh, a yeah. ginger. He's a ginger. Bob's here too, though, so. Okay, well, yeah. They're just like seeing you. Don't worry, I'll, I'll start it and then I'll bring it over. 